Hey gang, this is Randy with Randog 1951. I'm on Silver Mountain again. Hope you can see that. I'm heading down Sunrise. I'm gonna stick you guys in a pouch. Sort of a body deal. More than likely is gonna be shaky. But that's what I'm experimenting with today. Hope you guys hang in there. I'm just gonna let it run. Most of my recent videos have been uh, me standing on the mountain and giving you uh, shots of the uh, terrain. So let me adjust you, bear with me. And uh, we'll get going in about one minute. I'm going to put you in my uh, coat a little bit and zip it up so it doesn't shake so much. See if that's going to work. All right. I hope I don't lose the camera. And, uh, <clears throat> this is an, a, uh, an intermediate hill. It's called Sunrise on Kellogg Peak in Silver Mountain, Idaho. So, and away we go. Hang on. It's gonna be fun. Yeehaw, howdy! Usually in the spring, especially in the spring, you can be going along where the sun's been hitting the slope. You get adjusted to that condition, and then you go into a shadow of a tree, and it's ice. <laughs> so you have to adapt for that sort of thing. I'm extremely lucky. I think <clears throat> I'm 68 now. With two hips replaced. 
for those of you who subscribed and watched me, you know that already, but thank goodness for the, the medical industry. This allows me to keep skiing. <clears throat> I was never an expert skier. I always considered myself an intermediate, but, but now I've, my age and I don't want to fall. Well, nobody wants to really fall, but, <laughs> but uh, I don't want to end up breaking one of these new hips or anything else as far as that matter. And uh, there's an old tree that's been around here. I bet he could, it could tell us some stories. I wonder how, how many of these little guys around him is offspring. What a beaut, what a beaut. And thanks for helping to clean our air. Old, old dude or dudette. Okay, it gets a little steeper right here. I'll show you where we, I'm gonna turn around, I hope you can see. But that's what we just came down from. It's not super steep, but <clears throat> it's a little steeper. That's where I utilize the entire <clears throat> run when I can. Keep my speed down, stay in control. And enjoy the run, enjoy the ride, so to speak. I'm just gonna let this run until it stops on its own. So, <clears throat> If you haven't left me already, and my editing abilities suck, I'll say goodbye to you now, but hang in there. There's more to come. And this is gonna take us back over to chair two. And I'm gonna head over to the other side and uh, get off of Mount Kellogg and head to uh, Warden, the Warden Peak, which is above 6,000 feet. I think I read yesterday it was 6,700 feet thereabouts. I did have it on a video yesterday but I realized ha, when I was uh, watching it before I uploaded it to YouTube I had my hand partially over the camera and I didn't realize it so tonight I'm going home I had something rigged up before I have a little tripod that I uh, wired to my uh, helmet I normally don't wear a helmet skiing. And uh, I wired it on and then put the phone on top. And it was taking pretty good videos last year, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. So if you're still with me, hang in there. We're about to get on chair two again. And, uh, and away we go. Thanks for checking in. and. Please make sure that you subscribe, pass it on to a friend, subscribe. I need subscribers. I've been doing this since 2014. I've been doing this so long I was monetized once and then Susan changed the rules. I made a quarter though, so YouTube owes me a quarter. Morning. Here we go. Thank you.